What happened to yesterday? It's gone. Will it ever come back? No, it will not. What about tomorrow? Where is that? Is that ever coming? No, tomorrow never comes. What about today? Today is here. Today is the day. Today is the day that the Lord has made. Now is the divine time that God has given us. There is no yesterday, no tomorrow, but there is today. And notice that this psalm, written some 3,000 years ago, says, we will rejoice and be glad in it. It's like a decision. It's a choice we have. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We will rejoice in today and be glad in God's forgiveness that he paid such a high price for with the death of his son. We will rejoice and be glad in God's love, which we know for sure, because he gave his son for us. We will rejoice and be glad in God's gifts, which are so many and so varied, whether it be a house or a home or friends or a family or health. There are so many gifts, we can't even count them. We will choose to rejoice in today. We will choose joy. If you listen carefully, you might hear the birds singing. I hear them right now. And if you live out in the country, you might see the deer running. Or perhaps you might notice some ants that are waking up and scurrying in a part of your house. We don't want to be the only creatures that God has made. That's depressed and despondent and sullen. No. Today is the day the Lord has made. We will choose to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Let us pray. Oh Lord, we give you thanks for this day. We give you thanks for your forgiveness, your love, and your peace that we have this day. And whether we are at home alone, or whether we face difficult circumstances on the job, we know that you're going to be with us this day. So help us, Lord, to choose to rejoice in the gift you have given us this day through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. And may God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless and keep you this day and always. Amen.